Hi guys, welcome to PG Nana Farms. I'm Linda and today I'm making a Thai chicken curry um, in a crock pot. So, the reason I am doing this recipe specifically is because my mother is Thai. She makes awesome food. I don't go see her nearly enough and I get a craving for Thai food. I found a recipe that is easy enough for me to do that I can throw in the crock pot for a couple hours and have it done and it's really good and it just helps my cravings. I would like to also turn this episode into a challenge for other YouTubers out there to share a recipe that you connect with that represents your heritage and just call it a piece of me recipe challenge. So I hope one of you guys d does it, if not all of you guys, and I'd really love to see what you guys come up with. Anyway, um, give me two seconds. I'm going to show you the ingredients for this super easy recipe. Mr. Brandolini is going to come out and he's actually going to make it for you. See you soon. A quarter cup of peanut butter. Doesn't matter if it's chunky or smooth. Four cloves of garlic. I'm using chopped garlic so I'll probably use two tablespoons. Two tablespoons of Thai red curry paste. Tablespoons of fish sauce. 3 tablespoons of lime juice, 3 tablespoons of brown sugar, half a cup of chicken stock, half pounds or three pieces of boneless skinless chicken breast, a half a teaspoon of ground ginger, and a half a teaspoon of red chili flakes. Red bell pepper that is sliced. This is optional. You don't have to have this. This is optional. Peanuts for garnish, which is also optional. Chopped cilantro for garnish, which is also optional. All right, so I got Brandon, my sous chef, who's going to be cooking this meal for us tonight. Say hi, Brandon. Hi. Okay, first thing you got to do, Bubba, is go to that bowl. You're going to make the sauce. For the chicken. You ready? Yeah. You need one can of coconut milk. Coconut. Pour it in that big bowl. Oh. Okay. You need to add a quarter cup of peanut butter. Okay. And dump it in there. You might have to get a spoon out and dig it out. Just get a spoon out of the drawer and dig it out. Okay, you're going to need two tablespoons of red curry paste. Vinny might need to help you with that. You need to open the jar. Yes. Yep. I should have had that jar open. I got it. You got it? Come on, muscles. There you go. Tablespoons are behind you, bub. The red ones. The red ones. Oh. Wait. It's the biggest one. Okay. You need two of those. It won't fit? Oh, no. Okay, I'll use the little one. I'll use a fork. <laughs> How about a knife? Oh, I guess that'll work. Whatever works, right? Oh! Oh! oh. You need help, Bubba? I just scoop it off. <laughs> there you go. You're going to need a... Okay, is that full? <coughs> it smells. Okay. That was a heaping one, so one not so full. That smells, Ma. Okay, that's good. It's a lot of curry. <laughs> All right, so two tablespoons of red curry paste. <laughs> <laughs> Close the lid. It really doesn't smell that. It's just strong. Wait. Okay, two tablespoons of fish sauce. Okay. 
Which is in one of those white bowls. Fish sauce. Yep. Three tablespoons of lime juice. This? Yep. Two <laughs> tablespoons of brown sugar. Brown sugar. Two tablespoons of garlic. Mm -hmm. Garlic. This? Mm-hmm. Nope. I'm getting all up and I wasn't paying attention to what I was recording. Got your big old head. That's it, the big one. Oh. Okay, not so full. What? Okay, just put in that much and that'll be good. There you go. <laughs> and then a half a cup of chicken stock, which is behind you, Bubba. This? Yep. Oh, there we go. I can see your face now. A half a teaspoon of ginger and red peppers, which I have pre-measured right there. So I just poured in. Just poured in. Now whisk it up, Bubba. This is a better angle. Why didn't I do this from the beginning? Oh. A chunk. Yeah, that's peanut butter. Don't make a mess. Just whisk it up. How does it smell? I don't like the smell of this, the red curry paste. But it smells okay. <laughs> All right, so what you want to do is take that chicken in the bag over there. Bag? Oh. Yep. And dump that in the crock pot. This? Mm hmm. You want to take your mixture that you made and pour that over. Here, just put your whisk down. There you go. Don't spill it. All right, you get all this stuff out. There you go. And we're going to put the lid on and turn this on for three hours on low. What? So, so low. let me get the lid on. You guys like my new groovy new crock pot my mom bought me? Pretty cool, huh? And that's what it looks like inside. So in three hours, I will come back and show you what it looks like and what to do next. So the chicken has been cooking for two and a half hours. I'm going to open it up real fast. And throw in the one red bell pepper that I had in there. Oh my goodness, it smells so good. Okay, stir it up just a little bit. Then in a half an hour, I'll come back and show you what to do next. All right, so the chicken has been in the crock pot for a total of three hours. What I'm gonna do next, oh my goodness, it smells so good, is just take out the chicken breast. Well, I could have used a lot more chicken than just one and a half pounds. Oh well, next time I know. And I am going to Okay, so I got the chicken out of the crock pot. Now I'm just going to cut the chicken into bite-sized pieces or dices. I should have put more chicken in here, I'm thinking, but that's okay. I can't even tell you how good it smells right now. So good. So I mainly, uh, I'm avoiding the chicken to be so cooked that it shreds. I want it to still be in pieces.
Smell it, Brandon. Smell it? Yeah, it smells so good. Yeah, it does. It does, huh? I'd be amazing with rice. I, I made a whole pot of jasmine rice, speaking of rice. Yes! All right, so I got these chucked up. I'm going to stick them back in the crock pot and just turn it around, turn off the crock pot, and dinner is served. I'll be back when I make Brandon a plate and let him give you the final results of taste. Okay, so the amazing Br Brandon is making a mess with his dinner. But he's going to give you the true taste. It was a pretty plate until he spun around with it. You went blurry. That's good. You like that? Should they all try it? Yeah. If you guys, you guys were wondering, he's on a hoverboard. All right. So we close out the film. What do you guys? What do you have to say to everyone? Uh, have a good day. And subscribe. I can't see you. Subscribe. And leave a comment below. All right. You guys have a good night. Until next time.